Hello and welcome back or to another episode of the Spicy Pisces podcast. I'm your host, Emma Jepson, and I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for joining me today. I honestly did not think I would be filming today, but something happened to me this morning and I was like, I need to vent about this somewhere and talk about it and just get it out of my system. And so we're going to do that here. Um, and yeah, I just love when men feel like they can make women feel bad about saying no to something that they don't want to say yes to. That's like my favorite thing in the world. I love when they do that. After waking up this morning, I went out to walk around the city a bit. I picked up an iced coffee, stopped at Trader Joe's for some more peanut butter, and then ended that little walk around the city just picking up groceries from Whole Foods. And I'm just having like a wonderful start to my day in a great mood. And I'm walking back to my apartment and I have all of my groceries on me, iced coffee in hand, my sights locked in front of me, clearly not looking like I want to stop and talk to someone unsolicited at the moment since I'm struggling to carry everything I'm holding on to and just clearly just am trying to get back to wherever I'm headed. And this random guy walking my direction says hi to me, which is totally normal. And I feel like that happens a lot, especially in cities. And I usually just give a slight smile back and then keep walking with a purpose and just carry on with my day. But I love it when sometimes people like to just give butt fucking crazy responses to these. And this one today made me really, really pissed. Um, and maybe it's because I'm wrapping up my period too and my hormones are still in flux. But also, I'm not going to say that that's the reason I reacted I did because I also don't need to justify my response to the situation because I think my response was valid and I'm allowed to just simply be mad at this without, you know, the hormones playing a role or not. End of story. Um, but I basically, after I smiled back to his hi, he then start, he started stopping a bit and then he asked, like, can I ask you something? And it honestly varies on the situation. Sometimes I do stop if the person seems genuine or like they're just going to ask for directions or, you know, like best coffee place nearby or something innocuous. Um, but something just felt off about this interaction and the guy seemed like he was like tweaking a bit. And so I didn't really feel comfortable staying in that interaction. Just something in my gut was telling me something was off. Um and the line I always use whenever I don't want to stop and talk, either because I feel uncomfortable, something feels off, or I just can't be bothered to stop and talk to anyone, or I need to just simply get back to somewhere I'm running late, I'll literally just say, sorry, I'm running late somewhere. And I usually just use a kind tone, but still somewhat stern, so it indicates I don't want to further engage in this conversation. But this man had the audacity to say with such attitude, you're not running late anywhere. You just don't want to stop and talk to me. And I was like, oh, period. Exactly. It's almost like that's the point. And you're pointing out the obvious. But thank you for trying to make me feel bad about saying no. <laughs> um, but in my head, I'm like, why are you giving me that tone? And why are you trying to make me feel bad about giving that response? And then I like started to feel bad though for a second. I was like, oh, did I say something super, like, should I not say it like that? Did I say it in a mean tone? And I know just by nature, my tone is very, and as you can tell from this, I have a pretty monotone voice and I don't have like, I don't feel like I have a snappy tone most of the time. And so I know I for sure did not say it in a way that was rude. It was just simply stern and like, what's the word? Um being being assertive. I wasn't being rude. I was just being assertive. But then I realized this is something I've been working on, which is people pleasing as a woman identifying individual, which is something a lot of us deal with. And we feel like we always have to appease other people and we can't make other people feel bad ever because it's our job to make people feel good and to please and appease other people. And because this guy got mad at my response, then I was like, oh shit, maybe I should have stop to talk to him because it was something quote unquote important or because um you know I didn't want him to react negatively I wanted him to react in a positive matter manner so maybe I should have stopped and talked to him but then I was like if he reacted that way over one little comment I made he's probably not someone I want to engage 
with in conversation further because he got this like angry look in his eyes and he switched so quickly just like that and he just got so worked up and I was like oh you know what that's you're not someone I want to keep talking to and also the fact that I am a 21 year old girl and he was a much older man who I I don't like making assumptions about this stuff but something in my gut told me he he seemed a little off and he looked like he was either on something or just not super like here, you know, like he seemed like he was almost in a different world. Um, and I didn't want to like engage cause I didn't know what he was going to do or whatever. But the fact that he stopped to talk to like a 21 year old girl, something just seems a little off about that to me. And I felt like something was off in my gut and I just wanted to keep walking and get away from that encounter as fast as I possibly could. And growing up as a woman, girl identifying individual in this world, I've always struggled with this, obviously, because it's something we're just taught. We're just taught to be people pleasers, you know, from the get go of when we're born. But my dad, I'm grateful he's ingrained this in me and my other siblings, but he's always taught us to never feel bad for not stopping to talk to strangers or just giving in you're allowed to just keep walking and this comes from i grew up in new jersey and he went into new york city every day for work and new york obviously you get a lot of the people that approach you there since it is such a big city and he's had his own encounters with people in the city there and so that was just something he really wanted us to understand and obviously if it's family or friends or someone you actually know and care about that's a different situation but if it's just a random stranger like this he always says you shouldn't feel obligated to stop and talk or feel like you owe them anything and like i mentioned earlier if it seems innocuous and i'm not if it seems like i'm not going to get followed after or targeted or anything like that then i will stop and listen or like i I like being nice and i feel like i am a kind person so i like helping people and sopping and talking and all of that but the fact that this man got so worked up over my response of me basically indicating that I didn't feel comfortable stopping to talk to him and how he just switched up so quick made me feel like he's definitely hot-headed and has some sort of anger issues but that's also not my fault that he reacted like that and I didn't owe him anything to make him react a different way or to make him react in a way where he didn't blow up like he did. Like, that's not my fault. He reacted the way he did because of shit. His own shit. (laughs) And, like, I didn't owe him a response. Honestly, just, like, a response, period. But, like, a response that he wanted to hear as well. I didn't owe him that. But that made him mad. But that's not my fault. And it's not my job or my responsibility to give him a response that he wanted to hear. I'm allowed to say no and set boundaries and he should be able to respect that, which he did not, but (laughs) we just walk away. Um, But then the thing that made me pissed was I was walking back the whole time and I kept looking over my shoulder to make sure he wasn't following me because I was scared he was going to retaliate at my response because he did not like what he heard from me. Um, and I love being a woman and constantly worrying about our safety and not being able to be anything but nice to people for fear of being punished for setting boundaries because it makes some men upset, which is fucking annoying because I'm allowed to say no and you should be able to respect that decision and not get mad about it and make me fear for my life. Um, and cause I feel like then, you know, if a guy said no, He probably would have accepted that and kept walking, or he might have not even said something like that in the first place, which makes me so fucking annoying. Or if I had a guy, if I was walking with a guy, you know, and like I wanted to say something back to this man to let him know that he can't speak to me in that tone, then I obviously held my tongue because as a woman, we're not allowed to speak up for fear of being reprimanded or, um, you know, punished for standing up for ourselves around men like that. Um, yeah, and it was just annoying because I was having such a good day and then a man had to come and ruin it, um, which is typical. (laughs) Like, just let me live in peace, please. Don't bother me. And obviously not all men are like this. I don't want to not, it's not all men, 
but there are a great deal of them that are annoying and like to assert their dominance over women and make women feel bad about standing up and saying no and setting boundaries and not being a people pleaser, which fucking frustrates me so much. Um, and yeah, this is nothing new, but I think, no, 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 I don't think, I know, um, men need to do an immensely better job of being more aware of how their actions and words affect women and do a better job of understanding how they can make a woman feel safer psychologically, physically, emotionally, all of them, um, and it's not my fault either that I feel unsafe or uncomfortable, and that's on you, you fucking asshole. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, how about you just don't approach me in the first place if you're clearly emotionally unstable like you were, um, and if you have anger issues. Um, yeah, I guess the moral of the story is don't feel like you owe anyone anything if it's something, if it's a situation or anything that makes you feel uncomfortable, don't feel like you have to stop and talk or engage in conversation just to simply people please the other person. If you don't want to stop and talk, you don't have to. And if they blow up like this fucking crazy man asshole did, that's not on you. And you shouldn't feel guilty or, you know, ashamed for not having reacted a different way and having gave in to whatever they asked or wanted that's not you and if something feels wrong listen to your gut you know your gut usually knows what's up um it usually doesn't do you dirty or do you wrong so listen to it if something's telling you if it's telling you something is off then listen to it and walk away from that situation or do whatever you need to do to make your gut feel not unsteady <laughs> um yeah yeah, stop people pleasing. Again, you can't control how other people react and if they get fucking pissed like this man did, that's not your fault. You didn't do anything wrong if you were simply making yourself feel more safe. Um, yeah, okay. Anyway, that was a long rant and vent. I don't know if any of that was coherent or not, but I thought this was an important topic and I wanted to document it because... It is something I'm continuously working on, and I feel like this will be good to look back at one day and see how I'm working on not being as much of a people pleaser anymore and unlearning these habits. Um, and also, this was just a funny, this man was so fucking funny. As, mu as frustrating as it was, it was hilarious now looking back, and that kind of did make my day. But yeah, anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful day, though. I hope this was enjoyable to listen to. I hope you were able to take something away or relate to what I talked about. Um, and yeah, definitely more of a random, um, discombobulated episode, but I just wanted to vent and talk about it. So here it is. Um, I love you so much. If you made it to the end of the episode, thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day of your week, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.